Welcome to Men Reading the Bible. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. It is reading 94. We are in 1 Chronicles chapters 1 through 3. Our topic today is be present for those you love. I got to tell you, um, I'm, it's a good thing we're doing audio only because uh, some, I mean, this is, I mess up so much. <laughs> and I just hit uh, stop and re-record. This is like the fifth attempt. Um, I had it in one take last time, but uh, but today I'm having trouble. So much trouble that, uh, you know, if I go 15, 20 seconds and then mess up and have to redo, that's one thing. But uh, I completely finished this, uh, this uh, recording today. And when I put it with the thumbnail and blended it together with the image, um, I did found out I had my microphone button off. And so I could, um, yeah, anyway, I turned the microphone button on and now I spent one minute of our so-called five minutes together. Um, telling you about the behind the scenes things going on. Let's see if we can uh, talk about first Chronicles being present for those you love. Major theme in the book of Chronicles is the temple. And one of the main blessings of a temple is a temple is where God reveals his presence. First and second Chronicles, they're one book um, originally by the same author. And uh, first and second Chronicles recounts basically the same time in history as first and second King uh, Kings, but with a different approach um, where Kings focused on the northern nation of Israel. Chronicles focuses on the southern nation of Judah. Chronicles goes into more depth in the life of David, gives more detail, gives more detail in the life of Solomon and more information about the temple. And then it records the decline of the kings into exile. Um, we start out with several chapters of genealogies, and we'll talk about why they are there um, on an, an another recording, maybe next time. But a major theme in Chronicles is the glory of Solomon's temple. What's a temple? A temple is a place of sacrifice, a temple is a place of forgiveness, and a temple is a place where there is God's holy presence. Jesus is the full display of the temple of God. Revelation 21, 22 says, I saw no temple in the city for its temple is the Lord God, the almighty and the lamb. Like the temple, Jesus is like the temple, but more. Jesus isn't a place for sacrifice. Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus isn't a place for forgiveness. He offers forgiveness anywhere to anyone who believes. We no longer have a golden room with God's special presence, you know, the holiest of holies. Jesus provides his presence in the hearts of those who trust him. We have a God that does what it takes to be with you. It takes a temple. Even Jesus' name, one of his names is Emmanuel, God with us. Since God desires to be present with us, since we have a father, we have a father and a brother who want to spend time with us. I mean, some of my favorite memories growing up um, were working with my dad. There's something unique about being with our father. And also on the other side of the coin, sadly, some of the worst pain that we can have comes from an absentee father. Well, God is not an absentee father. Jesus is not an absentee uh, brother. The Holy Spirit is not absentee. We can be presence, present with those we love and with those we, uh, we lead because we have access to the presence of Jesus Christ himself. I mean, greater than money, our families need us to be present. Greater than material stuff or logging online, our churches need us to be there. We need to be there. Businesses decline when the owner disappears. Be there. Be there. In a day of digitalized social media, you know, I'm one to talk. <laughs> We're using it right now. But in a day of digitalized social media, our personal presence is a rare commodity. It's the greatest gift God gives us. Really, it's the definition of heaven to be present with God. It's the greatest gift that we can give those that we love and lead. So let us be present for our churches. Let us be present when we're at the workplace. 
Let us be present for those that we love and those that we lead. Let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you so much that you have made a way to be with us. Uh, the world is is a very lonely place, and we can get sucked up into the loneliness of, um, of this world. And uh, there may be um, men that we grew up with that have passed away, or, or men that we care about and would love to, to work with and, and work you know, arm in arm together, maybe like we used to, um, but those times have passed. Lord, um, we need your presence. We need a mighty father and a loving brother that says, I want to be with you. I want to focus on you. I'm pleased with you. I want to make a way that I can be in the presence of, uh, of mankind and with us, your sons. So, Lord, I thank you for the temple. I ask you to bless us as we go through the book of Chronicles. And uh, may we see just um, how the temple points to you, Jesus, our brother who wants to be with us, our brother that wants to have our back. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done, all that you do, and all that you promise to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. God bless you.